So once again I have been blessed with a very nice uh, present. This is what's called a joiner plane. Uh, it measures 25 inches long and it's made by a Dutch company called Noitgedacht. So Noitgedacht started out as a company making uh, ice skates. And later on I started making uh, tools and workbenches. I have acquired a lot of uh, Noitgedacht tools. So uh, this is a very nice addition to my collection. For those of you who don't know, a joiner plane is a plane that is used for uh, straightening wood. This uh, joiner plane is relatively short to, uh, to dress as they uh, start from 22 inches. Uh, so this one is 25 inches, so uh, this is a relatively short one. So um, let's take this apart and see if we can get this into working condition again. Alright, so let's see if we can get this wedge and this iron out. Okay, it wasn't really hard. Okay, let's inspect this for a moment. The sticker obviously needs to be taken off. All wood parts definitely need to be scraped, sanded, re-oiled. So uh, let's take a look at this iron and chip breaker. Very carefully. The edge seems to be in a pretty good condition. It's only a little bit dull. So uh, we don't need to reprofile re it like uh, other planes that I've done. So it only needs a little cleaning up and a sharpening. So it's very positive, really like that. As far as the body goes, it's actually in a pretty good state, as far as I can see. We only need to scrape it, sand it, and oil it uh, again. So, um, let's get to it. So I want to start out by uh, cleaning all the metal parts. And if you have followed my channel for a while, you might have noticed that I really like using uh, a wire wheel on a drill press, electric drill, bench grinder. I really have used them all, but since I've done it so many times, and I don't want to make the same videos over and over again, I'm going to try something different today, something that I haven't used a lot, I've been experimenting with it. Uh, this is uh, some sort of very high concentration um, vinegar. So I'm going to pour this, pour it into this bin, if I manage to open it. Alright, there we go. So we're go, going to pour this in. Very carefully. And um, the acids vinegar will, uh, in, uh, will, will theoretically solve all the rust, at least the most of it. And after a while we can just clean it up using a scotch bright pad. So um, we're going to let it soak for, uh, for a while and uh, we'll see how it turns out. So let's take the body apart. One of my favorite tools has become this Stanley Redling screwdriver. A heritage tool belongs to my grandfather, and I just really like the ease of using this thing. It's way easier to use than a normal screwdriver. I really like it. So the plane is in a pretty good condition, uh, it only has some dirt on it here and there, so I'm just going to rub it out with some turpentine.
So the iron and the chip breaker cleaned up uh, pretty nicely. So now we can start uh, putting a really sharp edge on this uh, on this iron. And the best way to do that is with Japanese water stones. This is the best sharpening method I've ever used. These sharpening stones are pretty expensive, but uh, they are a very good investment. Um, I advise that you get them in 300 grit, 800 grit, and 1000 grit. These two are for sharpening. This one's for your profiling. And then we have one 6000 grit stone, which is for, uh, for polishing and uh, adding that last bit of sharpness. So these stones have to be made flatter once in a while. As you can see, I, sh I sharpened my gouges on this uh, on this particular one. And uh, I wonder if this shows on camera, but you can definitely see a pretty big dip in there. So um, you can flatten these stones in a number of ways. You can use wet and dry sandpaper on a pane of glass. But I recently got this uh, um, silica carbide flattening stone which works pretty well. You need to put it in water for a while and uh, after that you can uh, flatten your stones uh, pretty well. So once the stones have st stopped bubbling, you can take them out and start using them. I still need to flatten mine, so uh, I'm gonna do that really quickly. So once you flatten your stones, you can just pour a little water on them. You need to do this regularly to keep the stone lubricated. You need to find your angle and start sharpening very carefully. Now I dare bet this is shaving sharp. And it is. Look at that. It's very nice. Joiner plane looks uh, probably uh, as good as new. It looks very nice. And uh, as I showed before, uh, the edge, of course, uh, razor sharp. I added my Maker's Mark for uh, extra charm. Looks very nice. Um, the only thing is sanded and um, polished using a Scotch Bright pad and uh, oiled, of course, using boiled linseed oil. It just uh, looks very nice. Uh, I can't wait to test it out. So um, let's see how it works. very well and um, I still really need to learn how to use it because it's a pretty heavy plane and I'm not very strong but um, wood shavings always uh, tell a lot and uh, these shavings tell me that this edge is uh, very sharp and that it's, uh, it's really well done if I can say so myself of course so I'm going to practice this week and uh, who knows maybe at the end of this week I will uh, know how to properly use this plane I have some pretty neat uh, woodworking projects coming up and uh, I really plan on using the, this plane, so um, stay tuned. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I'd really encourage you to uh, stick around by clicking the subscribe button down below. If you enjoyed watching this video, I'd really appreciate it if you would uh, hit the thumbs up button. It really makes a difference and it really helps. Please note that I am uh, not a professional, I'm only a, uh, a learner. So uh, if you have anything to say, uh, whether it be tips, critique, um, if you know how to use a uh, joiner plane properly, or well, maybe you could leave a comment uh, down below. That's it. Thank you for watching and uh, till next video.